Hello and welcome to the Virtual Mac YouTube channel. On this channel, you're going to find the latest news around Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, Intune, Enter ID, and much, much more. Before we get things kicked off, um, I've got some very exciting news to announce. Um, we've finally finished and released the Mastering Azure Virtual Desktop second edition book. Um, it's something which myself and Marcel Miura and Ryan Mangan have been working on um, probably for the, good, for the past six months now. So um, it's very exciting to have it finally available um, for you to buy uh, and to read. So um, if you are interested in Azure Virtual Desktop and you want a good technical book to read over the holidays, um, definitely head over to the Amazon store um, and buy it. It's available on physical format and also Kindle. So I, I'll include the link below and uh, yeah, uh, please uh, hopefully give it a buy, give it a review, and uh, hope you enjoy the book. I just want to say a massive thanks to Sir Ryan, Ryan Mangan for approaching me, uh, first of all, to sort of co-write the book with him, and also Marcel Miura as well, um, who we also, the three of us, uh, we kind of wrote the book together, but also everyone else involved, because it is a lot of work to, to write a book. So all the publishers from Pact, all the reviewers, all the people who took their time out to kind of do technical reviews, do secondary reviews, so... I can't shout out everyone because there's so many people involved, but uh, you know who you are. Uh, but yeah, massive thanks to everyone involved. And uh, yeah, hopefully give it a read and maybe there'll be more in the future. Who knows? Today, um, it's going to be a quick video today because I spent the last week in the US and I'm pretty tired. Um, I've got a bit of jet lag. So um, today I'm going to talk about the new Windows app. Um, so it was originally called the, the, the Azure Virtual Desktop app or the Windows 365 app and uh, Microsoft will be going to GA soon with it and it's actually now going to be called the Windows app right so uh, the windows app is basically replacing the uh, azure virtual desktop app and the, and the windows 365 app um, and it will be one single app where you can connect to, to multiple uh, different types of environments with so and uh, you'll be able to connect to your windows 365 desktop you'll be able to connect to your azure virtual desktop you'll be able to connect to your rdp connections whatever um so um the good thing is the gui looks a lot better right so the gui is a lot cleaner interface um the one thing which really matters is, I'd say, user experience, right? So um, those initial kind of first impressions when you are connecting to a desktop or when your end users are launching for the first time, first impressions matter. Um, and I would say that the Windows app is a lot nicer looking than the original um, sort of remote app. So the, the original remote app was around for quite a while um and it, it was looking a bit dated um so this new windows app looks a lot nicer a lot cleaner so um hopefully it will lead to a much nicer um experience for the users um and what i really like it about it as well is you can also differentiate between um sort of uh, apps and desktops and you can also got a favorites um home settings as well so um, it's a lot more easily to customize uh, for the end user experience okay so today for this we're going to basically going to go through we're going to show you how to deploy it and um, we'll show the experience compared to um, the original one um, and then also the new um, enhanced user experience as well so i hope you enjoyed the video it's not going to be as in depth for my usual videos uh, i gotta say I, i'm ready for a sleep right now um but yeah i hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll, I'll see you next week okay okay so let's now have a look and see how we actually deploy um, the Windows app. So the Windows app is now a store app, right? So the previous um, remote desktop client was actually an MSI app. So this one is a store app, which will mean it's probably an MSIX application, right? So um, obviously you can deploy MSIX applications. So we could deploy it via um, Intune um, or you could publish it um, to, do it to your own internal um, store um, or you could instruct users to install it from the, the Windows store as well um, because it actually... Um, is installable um, as a user so um, let's go and have a look and see how we would do that okay so i'm just going to head over uh to the windows store so here you can see i've got my windows store so in here i'm just going to search for windows app right so if we go down to windows app um, and then we'll see this one here with the nice uh, windows icon so i just click on that and now i've already got it installed um, obviously um, obviously normally if you didn't have installed you'd see your install button there um, but that's how simple it is for, to deploy that all right so and then you'll, you'll see everything that you've in here and then just click the install button and then once that's installed um, you'll be able to to launch it okay so let's now just do a quick comparison against the the new one and the old one and um, just to see what the differences are between them both okay all right so this is the new Windows app, okay? So first impressions, 
it looks way better than the the older one right so it's a much cleaner interface um, it's a lot better laid out so generally i just really like the way the way it looks so those of you who are coming from a kind of citrix receiver experience um it, it is much closer to that um, than it was the original um remote desktop app so if we just flick over very quickly to the remote desktop app you'll see the differences so uh, if i just click on devices you'll see um what accounts i've got access to here and then if i just go on to remote desktop um uh, I can say, as you can see, this this doesn't look nowhere near as clean as polished uh, as the new app does. So um, for the, for that user experience, um, it's definitely definitely a lot nicer. Okay, so um, if I go into here now, obviously I can see which which desktops I've got access to. It's telling me like which is my Windows 365 desktops, and it's telling me uh, which is my like Azure Virtual Desktop sessions as well. And shortly I'm just going to add some applications in there as well, so um, you'll be able to see what that looks like. But the good thing is. Well, we can now like pin device, pin uh, certain devices and stuff. So if I can go to here, so if I go to, for example, if I go to inside a multi, uh, pin to, pin to home. Okay, so if I select that, what it means that I can now go into there and then that will be available um, in my home icon. And then if I go to this one as well, so I'm going to add my Windows 365 desktop in there as well. So pink to home and I can pick that as well. So go back to my home and then there you go. Um, it's in there as well. So I've actually just noticed we've got this pink to taskbar as well. So uh, do you get on the desktop? So have a quick look. So pin to, no you don't. So for your Windows 365 desktops, it looks like what we can do is we can pin to Paint to taskbar, all right, okay. Ah, oh, maybe not, failed. Okay, you don't see that, but I can see a little error message. Uh, so I'm uh, not sure what that is, but we can look at that another time. Um, yeah, so we can now go on here and we can launch um, our desktops if you want to. So let's see what that launch experience is like, um, see if it's any different from there, from the previous version. I'm gonna first of all connect to my Azure Virtual Desktop session. So I've got a disconnected state, right? So in here, um, I can say, I can configure the display settings pretty much as we could do um, with the old client. So I'm just going to go start in full screen on fit session to window. Yeah, okay. And we're going to go to a single display. Okay. So if I go to inside the multi, click connect. That's connecting through. So I've got disconnected session. So it should take me straight through um, into that session. Okay, so there we are. So yeah, taking me straight through to my disconnected session. So uh, this is me logged on. So again, all the connection bars and stuff, um, they're exactly the same as the old client. It just seems to be the initial um, sort of connection menus and stuff that you get the same. But as you can see here, I'm connected to my desktop with a now nice nine millisecond round trip time and infringing the 46 megabits available bandwidth. So quite impressive. Okay, so I'm gonna just disconnect from that session. Um, and then we'll just connect to the Windows 365 session. So again, one thing as well, which you can see here, um, there are a few additional menu items available for Windows 365 connection. So if I just go to like inspect connection, it's gonna um, do some additional stuff that we've got there. So they've obviously brought in um, all this stuff from the Windows 365 app. Um, so I can go there, I can pin it to my home or taskbar, I can view details of it. So a few more, a few more options available there. Okay, so let's connect to that desktop. Okay, and there we go. So, yep, so we're now connected um, onto that desktop session. Okay, so again, quite similar experience um, to, to the older client. So just going to disconnect from there. Disconnect. Okay. Okay, good. So that's how we launch the, the desktop sessions. Um, and that's how we can connect to our, our sort of published desktops uh, from within there and also our uh, sort of cloud PCs. And as I mentioned, we've got those additional uh, menu items um, for those cloud PCs. So for example, um, if I click on expect connection, um, I can go on there and say, yeah, I want to click the expect connection. It's going to go away um, and expect that connection for me. And we'll come back in a few minutes and see um, see what that says. Okay, so the other feature that I just wanted to show you was um, when you have remote apps available, um, it actually shows you um, a different screen. So you can see 
instead of just going to devices i've now got to go to apps as well right so um if we click on go to apps icon that's actually going to show me again my applications in a much nicer format so um, if we just flick to the other the older client so originally obviously um, we had everything under one single workspace where it was quite difficult to differentiate between my uh, sort of desktops and my applications um, whereas in the new interface um, it's a much easier layout to read um, so if we go to devices I can see which devices are there and if you go to apps I can see uh, which applications are there as well so much much cleaner interface um, to read that from and what I've also done as well is I've also just switched accounts um, so if I click on that one I can easily switch accounts here um, on the top right hand menu so if I just go back to my other account and I guess that's the other thing to mention that's a bit different as well because um, within the old client I can see everything under one single view right Whereas within this, I have to go in and select um, which different accounts that I want to use. So um, it's a bit, bit of a difference there. Um, I mean, some ways I prefer the old app, but in some ways I prefer this application as well, right? So uh, for example, the fact that I can look at all my apps in one single console on the different accounts, I kind of like that, right? Um, I know, but I know this is a... This is interface is designed to be kind of a much cleaner interface. Um, so you see less on the screen, essentially. Um, but that's 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 fine. That's good. OK, so that's pretty much it. What, what I had to show you today. Um, yeah, as I, in summary, I guess, as I was saying, some ways I prefer the old one. Some ways I prefer the new one. Um, I think functionality wise, the new one seems to be a bit snappier, um, whereas the older one, yeah. So that that's all I had to show you today. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, so I guess in summary, um, the new interface looks really clean. It looks really good. Right, so if I was an end user, I'd much prefer using the new interface. It's it's good to have the additional Windows 365 capabilities um, integrated into that as well. Um, it's a one solution for all your cloud PCs, obviously, all your Azure Virtual Desktops, all your Windows 365 Desktops, all your all your DevBox. So this is going to be the one client um, which does which does everything essentially. So most of the functionality seems seems to be there. Um, it's going to take a bit of getting used to for some people who are used to using the older client um but i think if i was a user as an end user device using this i'd much much more prefer uh, the new client okay so i hope you found it useful and um, please like and subscribe for future videos like this and i will see you next week thank you goodbye <laughs>